you know how Zoom it went, da 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 da, and then da da da. All right, we are live, <laughs> everyone. That's how fast it goes. I love um, it. I am super excited to be a guest or to host and be a guest <laughs> um, on living, living yeah. life, living uh, life with my wonderful, beautiful friends Linda Guzman and Lulu Rivera Freeman. Uh, we had some technical difficulties yesterday. We all did, and it still wasn't working for me this morning. So I am so glad I have StreamYard and I have you guys. So welcome. I'm going to let you take Hi. over and I'm going to share the show and I'm going to do all the things I have to do. Well, I am excited. Thank you for having us. So yeah, StreamYard yes. is, I think, going to take over Zoom. So let's just put that out there. Oh, great. Um, so we do have, you know, our show that it's once a week on Wednesdays at 1.30 and it's called Living Life. And that's where we go over like business updates, family updates, trends, and then we do have a laugh of the day, which Lulu and I laugh all the time. So we have a lot of laughs, <laughs> of the day. Um, so Too many. You know, yeah, with these trying times, why not laugh, right, Elle? So um, we partnered with our buddy, Ted, who was like, we absolutely adore. Yes, and, um, oh, so let's, let's talk, well, we love you. So one of the topics that we wanted to touch on with Ted and Elle was um, business, right? So what kind of yes. updates can we share with all, everybody watching on what's going on with business today as far as what do you guys have? I mean, I have something that I would love to share. You guys tell me what you have. Take it Please. away. Take it I away. Wanna share. I want to I hear all about it. And I also want to hear how we're feeling about opening versus not opening. The you know That's everything. awesome. Yeah. So an update is... Um, Go on to floridarealtors.com to get updates on unemployment. What they're saying now is that for you to file for unemployment, if you get denied, then there is um, another site that they or another form that, that you can actually reapply for you uh, for us 1099ers where it's going to protect you as a realtor. So if you haven't applied for unemployment, apply, you may get denied and then it's going to take you to this other site where you can go ahead and apply again, but this time as a 1099 real estate agent. So again, for more details, go to the Florida realtors.com. I thought that was fascinating yeah, um, because we, we don't qualify for anything. So the fact that they are working diligently to help realtors in this trying time, I love it. And I think that's something I want to share with the world. Mm -hmm. um, another thing that I have was, um, I think that's all I have as far as businesses opening and closing. What are you guys? What I'm me. fascinated. Lou, tell us what you think. What do you think? I honestly, I don't feel like I'm ready. I, you know, I know that we all have to get back to work. I know the, you know, economy is suffering. I get that. But I'm a little scared. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I know that there's a lot of debate going around. Um, and, you know, as most everybody knows, my wife is a chef. So if if we don't open up, she doesn't get to work, right? But for me, I don't feel like I'm ready. I don't know what kind of measures and precautions can be taken, especially like in the restaurant industry and in the hospitality industry. You know, my daughter and her boyfriend own a, a bar downtown. So how can they open up and yet manage the hundreds of people that come in and out? How do we ensure everybody's washing their hands? And how do we ensure that, you know, everything is sanitized? So that's my main worry. Mostly because if she, if, if Nay goes back to work and brings something here, I can bring it to my mom. I can bring it to my daughter who's pregnant. Right. Um, so that's how I'm feeling. And, and at the same time, I'm like, I'm ready to go back to the office. I'm ready to resume all of the classes that we had on the schedule, all the trainings, all of our plans. So I'm kind of torn. Uh, but personally, I'm not ready to be back out there. What do you guys think? Well, I want to say the one thing that's scariest of all of this is that I didn't know that your daughter and her boyfriend owned a bar downtown. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. Right now, I'm, I don't know how them. I'm feeling about that. Uh, yes, I'm but, on her all the time. <laughs> I, I understand. I, I think we're all feeling the same. I think if yeah. we admit it, we're all, we want to get back to the normal and that isn't going to happen. There's not going to right. be a normal. It's going to be whatever the new normal is. But I feel like, yeah, what are you going to do? Like, um, are we all going to have to wear masks into bars and to restaurants? And how right. do you make sure that you're you're drinking your drink when you do you lift your mask? And what if you put your hand down on exactly. the bar? Like, there's just so much to consider. Mm -hmm. And all of the things that I'm reading, um, and I'm sure somebody will pop on and correct me, and that's fine. I like to be corrected. 
and we'll talk about that in another show. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, we, uh, no, I think, it, I think that we, that they're, they're thinking that there's going to be another surge yes. in the future, like fallish maybe, and that mm -hmm. it will become almost this seasonal kind of thing. And of course they don't know hundred percent, right. but how do we open? I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I miss hugs. Mm -hmm. I miss having a drink poured for me. Yes. Um, I miss food being served. Well, Stacy does that, but I miss yeah, like a <laughs> restaurant. I yes. miss just being around the experience, people. right? Yes. And so yeah, it's super right. hard. I don't know. My How about you, Linda? It, I think, you know, I'm torn because um, I, you know, as a believer, we're supposed to trust God because he's a provider. He's our, you know, he is our strength, right? And so I do. Um, I just, I'm, what I'm torn about is, are we trying to take matters into our own hands and just open right away because we're desperate? Or, you know, should we just trust the process, finish the process and, and understand what we're dealing with? Because, the, you know, it's hard for leadership, you know, when we're watching all these, all these new, all the news and, it, and them not really knowing what what's going on? Like nobody knows. We don't have the answer. You know, one minute we're okay. The next minute we're closing. The next minute we're opening. Now we're going to open again to then probably close again because we have yeah. another strand coming, you know, and if you read on China, they had another strand. They closed again. I know. So That's what I'm worried about. Me what do, too. You know, what do we do? <laughs> So I, I don't think there's the right answer, right? There's I think no we're right all. Answer. Yeah, there is no right answer because, you know, um, small business owner, we want to open. So yeah. it's not like I'm, you know, ignorant to the situation, right? I want to open. Right. Um, I just don't have the answer. I really don't know. Well, I think we're all going to okay. see what happens when Georgia opens up. Uh, yeah. They're the ones that are going <laughs> free for all on non-essential. And Buck I mean, wild, right? Woo, that are, they, are they allowed? Are they allowed to even do this? Yeah, the, yeah. The, it's all up to the states. Yep. The states have this uh, power. Mm -hmm. And so they're opening. I forget when it is, but it's soon. Like it's the end of this week or next week. And wow. so that should be fascinating to see how that all works. And then, you know, I mean, there had to be somebody who took the step out. I just don't. I'm very glad that Florida wasn't that I know, right? person right I now. I don't want to be blamed. We got well, I, I don't you know what? Be Time out, though. If you guys see all these, have you seen all the memes that are going around? Like hashtag Florida. What is it? Idiots. Uh, <laughs> idiots. Yeah, um, I've seen well, that. It's awful, you know. So I'm like, what? Are, you know, being bullied. We, yeah, I'm like, what? Are, okay, so what are we doing wrong? So I don't know. It's pretty That's, interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see how this is going to turn out. I will practice social distancing even too. if they do open, um, out of respect for family members and the vulnerable. Um, I will 100 percent practice it for sure and still run a business. You know. I think one another thing that I would love to see people exercise is respect, like social media respect. Don't jump on each other's throats because I may want to open the country and you don't and vice versa. Yep. Because yes. the comments that I'm seeing are not kind, you know, and everybody has a different reason to want to be out there. And yet everyone has a million reasons to be scared. Right. Yeah. So let's agree to disagree and we'll catch on the flip side. Whenever that is, is what it I'm was thinking. fascinating. I have to say, Lou, you're right. Um, in the industry that we're in the real estate industry, it seems to be super divided. Um, yes. You had people that would go out and do their uh, open, their virtual open house or, or do an open house and adhere to the rules. And, and they're still adhering to the rules. And then you have this whole other side that are like, you're being irresponsible. Yeah. And it was lots of anger. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I'm like, you know, if, if you're following the rules like you're supposed to, then mm -hmm. if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And you may not make the same choice as the other person. I, I think you're right. We need to show kindness yeah. and respect. And 100%. take responsibility. Because if yeah, we're exactly. open, take care of yourself. Even, I don't care how healthy you are, respect your neighbor because you don't know if they're vulnerable or not, you know what I That's mean? True. So, um, I, which is funny, you, what was that? Jacksonville opened up the beaches and everybody yeah. went crazy. <laughs> I know, I'm crazy. not ready for all Shout that. out to Florida, I love it. <laughs> I'm so, not ready for that, especially not, because I've gained another like 20 pounds maybe. Yeah. So I wasn't ready for the beach before, I'm definitely not ready now. <laughs> so let's talk about family because yes. school has been extended for social distancing. So, you know, 
what do you guys feel? What are your thoughts? I mean, we have a lot of parents that are working full time from home or having to go to work because they're an essential worker and their kids are home having to do school. You know, yeah. I, I'm seeing a lot of frustrations with parents, you know, because they're having to be teachers. Um, you know, teachers are pretty much just uploading assignments and kids have to just do it. Yeah, I'm seeing the same. And I'm also seeing the desperation with parents that have to go to work and they don't have anybody to leave the kids with. So yeah. they're taking them to work. I, I know this girl who's a vet tech at a clinic downtown and she has two um, like kindergarten and first grade or maybe yeah. pre k and kindergarten. She has to take her kids with her to work wow. because she she's a single mom and there's really nothing she can do. And then I have the frustration. I'm seeing parents just stressed out because they can't figure it out. Like you said, teachers are uploading what they're uploading. Parents, we're not built for this anymore. At least I, I know I'm not. Um, I listen, I'm glad my kid is smart and she's been doing homeschooling for a while. I don't have to worry about it. But if I had little ones with all this core math and everything, I think they would fail. Because it's so I hard. Am, it is. It's hard, but I, yeah. I have a, I have a different perspective because Stacy's a teacher, Ooh, and so me. it's so difficult because the teachers really are controlled by the administration. So the upsetness that right. gets thrown at the teachers is difficult because you're, and it's not even the principals; it's the county or the district that you're Correct. in. Correct. So Correct. after this whole thing starts to come down, and the teachers are just as frustrated. They're learning a new system. Uh, they want they want to interact. They miss their kids, and I and they yeah. know that the kids are having a hard time because they're not really getting taught. They're getting mm. tutored, maybe the best they can. They're right. they're there for them when they can. I mean, Stacy's on the phone, you know, out of she's on eight hours a day plus, uh, yeah. and it's yeah. it's difficult because I get why the parents are frustrated, and the administration, for whatever reason, that's the best way that they figured out how to do it. But it's certainly not the best way for anybody. I feel like you know, Stacy has a hard time. The kids have a hard time, and it it's not the best circumstance. So I, I agree. It's very, I agree. It's very hard. Very, very hard. I think it's hard for the kids too because they're not used to mom and dad teaching them things. They're used yep. to the, they. You know, we're all creatures of habit, right? So kids are used to their routine at school, and I think maybe um, they may be a little more scared of upsetting the parents or yes. getting put in yeah. time out or whatever. So I can, I can see how that could be difficult for everybody all around. Yeah, for sure. So for me, um, as a working mom, um, and you know, all my kids are, are doing this, um, at home, it has been a challenge because, um, it has, I feel like it's, they've been given too much work, right? Cause I feel that, you know, and I'm speaking from what I see, the kids are already having to adapt to stay home because they can't even, you know, go to the park. They can't go, you know, mm -hmm. there's not much they can do. So the fact that they're having to stay home, they're locked down, and then they're given all this work and expected to perform at excellence and in a timely fashion has been overwhelming for my kids. Literally overwhelming because they're still trying to understand what the heck is this virus and when right. is it leaving, mom? Why do I have to stay inside? You know, I'm yeah. asked, I was asked yesterday by my boys, you know, they're seven, no, they're eight, they're eight and nine, and, and they asked me, they said, Mom, are we going to have a virus for the summer? You know, because they don't really know if this, you know, what's uh, going on. But those are the type of things that they're thinking about. And so, you know, I'm all for social distancing and homeschooling because we do a lot of homeschooling what i'm not okay with is the overwhelming amount of work that they have to do yeah i think yeah. What have, i agree i think that it's if the dist you know stacy's lucky enough to be teaching at a private school so yeah. they're on the yeah. touch the pulse is better if the parents mm -hmm. if the parents are they're always reevaluating it's a smaller ship to turn mm -hmm. when you have the district like a big orange county for example and you've got the school board and the school superintendent and those people have X amount of thousands of students they're trying to figure yeah. out. They're yeah. not, the, the students and the parents aren't being, in my experience, being as heard as right. they are with Stacy's. They're not, okay. they're not listening. Um, and so it's not a great situation overall. Um, yeah, no. I, I think it's sad. We were talking earlier on a show. 
I feel bad for the people who are graduating, seniors. I have one of those um, too. I feel bad for you. Right? It's just I have one no of those prom, too. No, no turning the tassel. No, you know, there's so much yeah. that they don't get to do. Um, it's just, it's such a challenge for the kids. Yeah. Very, very much so. Yeah. I mean, my I my seniors just like I just want it to be done. Aww. Yeah. I know. So so sad. That sucks. That yeah. kind of probably ruined, or maybe not ruined, but like kind of um, lost a little bit of shine of the high school experience for him. Oh yeah. Because it's not, it's not the same and it'll never be the same. You can't go back and fix it. No, nope. never. Okay. And, and he's, you know, he's just done. He's like, honestly, mom, I'm just done. Like yeah. I'm just done. You went from the, the anxiety of having, you know, doing everything you had to do to try to pass senior and right. graduate. Yeah. And then you get there after all your hard work and then you're not sure if you're going to have a graduation. Then you're not sure if you're going back to school. He's done. He's like, yeah. I just want to be done. I'm it's done. almost like they're being robbed, right? Almost like they're being robbed. It, of that it feels Friday. that way. Thing. You know, I, so I had, you know, I felt that way for a long time and then you know, the other day I was looking at him and I said, you know what? I'm just grateful that he's safe and that he's healthy and that he's here. I'm not yeah. going to just focus on what we couldn't do. I'm just going to be thankful that he's OK, you know, yeah. um, and he didn't get the virus or he's you know what I mean? So yeah. that's what my focus is, because for a long time I was distraught. I'm like, I waited my whole time <laughs> yeah. for this graduation. Right. I knew what I was going to wear, the speech, the crying, and I didn't get to do any of it. <laughs> I love it. So tell me about what's trending. Let's talk about what's trending. Oh, goodness. Um, wow, that is a, an age thing. You guys tell me what's trending. I think well, I know what that word means. <laughs> so like, yeah, what's happening, right? <laughs> what's happening out there? I mean, I feel like the thing that was keeping us alive and giving us live was Tiger King, you know, for the Tiger longest King. time, uh, yes. you know? Um, God, I love to, so I need to I gotta finish that. Of it, right? I, well, okay, so I saw the whole thing, and <laughs> the whole time me and my husband were just like, what, is this real? <laughs> and then yeah. next scene, and we're like, and we're going back. I can't we're believe like, it. It's crazy. What the hell are we watching? And how did this get on camera? And how did this make it big? Because it's, I mean, it really is crazy. But who would have thought that that was going to be like uniting the masses during the quarantine, right? Think about it. I'm like, like is from this all the backgrounds one? and so beliefs true. and whatever where like Tiger King is. <laughs> Tiger, yeah. So now you got me um, in the morning. I'm like, good morning, you cool cats and kids. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I say that just because why not? Carol, what's I mean, there's so fast? many moving parts of that show that. I'm just the not sure. I can't look at the. Oh. I can't look. I I have the. I have to get past yeah. that. I know. I'm but, so uh, aggravated at that. It's but you just know, really facts. difficult. Fun fact: He had um, fixed his teeth, and they asked him to take him out for the show. So it was oh, kind no of like way. a gimmick. Yeah, he had. He has like veneers, or you know. I. You know I what? I know. did see a picture of him with them. In. Yeah. Yeah. It, he looks totally different. He's not terrible looking. I was like, oh, look at you with teeth. Isn't he like, like now like married with kids? Yes. They Look, all, the, yeah. the meth, me. the meth in that town. I mean, those people are all. I mean, Listen, that those are meth teeth. Listen, I, meth when teeth. I saw that. I was like, you know what? If they can make it to Netflix, I can make it to Netflix. Right? <laughs> we need a show. <laughs> Lip gloss will make it to Netflix. Yes, just no meth and tigers. <laughs> meth and tigers and murder. And murder, yeah. What about Ozark? Did you guys see it? I've never seen it. I have it. not I've seen such that. Such good things. What? That's trending. Maybe that's what I'll yeah. start watching this week because my daughter keeps telling me I need to. And, and Linda, you mentioned it too. So. Oh my god, it's I so heard good. It's awesome. It's so good. It's so so good. Um, Let's do so it. Let's I guess, it. so the last thing that we touch base on um, on the Living Life show is laugh of the day. So Lel, what is your laugh of the day? My laugh of the day. Um, let's see. Oh my goodness. I, I laugh so much and usually at things that are not appropriate to share because that's just my sense of humor. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, for me, I've been seeing these memes of like, you know, day one versus day 100 and how crazy we look. Um, and you know, our, our good intentions of working out and all of that. But for me personally was, um, yesterday when I got up, I was going to take a shower and get ready took my shirt off and ripped up my nose ring. I've had my nose ring in my nose for 15 years. 
I ripped it out and I'm running Ouch. around naked like a crazy person trying to find it because I'm thinking if it closes, I'm never going to get it back in. And, you know, we're not, you know, for me, the important thing during this quarantine was how am I going to get my nose pierced again? <laughs> so I figure now I look up at the mirror and I look like that person that I keep seeing the meme of, you know, day one, you're like, I'm just going to eat salads and I'm going to work out. Fun fact, I did buy a squat machine thing to do squats here. I've used it maybe once. It came like three weeks ago um, <laughs> versus, you know, day 100, which is this. What about you guys? I don't know. I, I, I think one of the things that's probably trending too, but I get I love memes. I mean, I could look at them all day, but the 90 Day Fiance ones just yes. make me laugh. Big Ed, uh, you know, Stacy and Haley, uh, my daughter, watch that and so i'm always in the background it's always going on and that's another like you stare at it and then i look over at them like why are we watch this is insane no. <laughs> but those memes those. <laughs> those memes make me laugh that no, show I, I anything die. to do with that show it's insane so that's I, my um, what makes me laugh is when i see the memes of how people go um and they get all dressed up and ready to go to like a war zone for food shopping and how they're <laughs> literally like all decked yes. out and they're running through the store and they're like and then when they run out they're just like straight up war zone because that's me like <laughs> that is you, you. See, you will not know who i am you won't even know i, I have like i have I shades see. on hoodie <laughs> mask gloves i got like really ugly clothes on because you know you i'm like i don't care you know if it gets the, the cooties because i'll get back to my house and throw it away so i legit have my hair in a bun and i am like from the car first of all i go through the whole stage of okay i'm going food shopping and then i'm like no i'm not and then i'm like okay so i go through this mental thing then i get in the car we fly to work like Publix. let's say i like run through Publix like it's a freaking maze get back in the car and i'm out like all you see is smoke. And when I see those memes, I'm like, at least I'm not the only one that's running <laughs> and going nuts because it's a terrible experience for me. I've and then I get rid of my clothes. I've seen her, she'll FaceTime me and she looks like, you remember the show from back in the day, like supermarket wars or whatever, yes, where you have to like yes. go real fast and just grab everything. You throw. That's Linda. <laughs> that's so if you see a crazy, a crazy tiny person running around in Lake Noda, that's her. <laughs> and grabbing everything, just throwing it in the car. Yep. <laughs> See, I, lo I love the grocery store. I like, I know you're not supposed to, but I do take my time in there. Um, and I, but I'm, but I do social distance. Yeah. I don't exactly. go that often. We order online. We I'm order doing that Amazon now. And, and shipped and Instacart. And shipped. And you know, there's yeah. a new one called, I call it Go Puff Daddy, but it's Go Puff and you can get your booze. <laughs> you get your booze really? for $1.90. It's real good. I need that. So, you know what? Talking about booze, I have. Tell us I, more. Well, I remember I put you on to the peach Moscato and Where it's so good. I don't know, but the peach Moscato, I'm telling you right now, guys, you have to taste it. It's amazing and refreshing. So I will be visiting that website. I love it. It's a good website. That and Grizzly, G-R-I-Z-L-Y or Drizzly, G-R-I-Z-L-Y. Anyway, that one will ship real booze, like big time booze. Um, uh, you know, I've never had that White Claw stuff that everybody- Oh, that's what I was drinking, see? What is it? It's a what malt. It? It's basically a malt. It's like LaCroix. Have you ever had that water, look bubbly water mm -hmm. with um, malted liquor in it? So it's about 5% alcohol. You can get one without sugar that is only 70 calories and no sugar, no carbs. Um, I drink the one with like one carb or two carbs in it. Um, mm -hmm. It's delicious. It's refreshing. Really? And then yeah. it gives you like a buzz? Allegedly, Linda. Yes, allegedly. Um, it's a break. It's a breakfast drink. Um, at least that's how I think of it. Can you guys hear me? I can't hear anything. I can how hear you. Funny. We can hear you. Uh, you're not muted. So I um, you and unmute you. There. That's all we have. All right. Well, I enjoyed it. I always enjoy spending time with you guys. I can't wait to give everybody a big hug, whatever uh, that looks like after yes. work. Um, but that was fun. I like it's it. Be I like the it when, I don't, play. when I'm not in charge. You were in charge. You yeah. are in charge. You're the man. We absolutely love you. And you guys know, you. keep my buddy in your prayers because he is going to kick butt and we believe it and we claim it. Thank you. And we've got your back 100%. Thank you. I appreciate that. I love you guys so much. All right. We have a great more. day. Bye, guys. Right, I love you. I can hear you, but I love you guys. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you.
Bye. Bye.